الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Continuing on in our dars uh, related to ahkam or fiqh and hadith, hadith al-ahkam fi umdat ahkam, basic fiqh. Uh, we reached where the mu'allif, rahimahullah ta'ala, where he began to speak about uh, the ahkam pertinent to washing away urine, to washing away urine, and the various situations, and he mentioned two hadith that we're going to read pertinent to this, which will provide for us how we should wash away urine. عن أم عن عن أم قيس بنت محسن الأسدية الأسدية أنها أتت بابن لها صغير لم يأكل طعام إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فأجلسه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في هجره فبلع على ثوبه فدعا بماء فنذحه على ثوبه ولم يغسله رواه بخاري ومسلم وفي حديث عائشة أم مؤمنين رضي الله تعالى عنها أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أتي بالسبي فبال على ثوبه فدع بماء فتبعه إياه ولمسلم فتبعه بوله ولم يغسله رواه بخاري ومسلم in these hadith these two hadith about uh, from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the first one was the hadith of أم قيس بن محسن الأسدية and she was the sister of Uqasha bin Muhsin radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and she came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or she had anha atat bi ibn laha saghir she came with her small son who was a child, a baby that did not eat food meaning that he only drank uh, milk from his mother to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with her small child that only drank milk, and she sat. She gave the child to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his room, and the child then urinated on the thobe on the garment of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked for water. And he sprinkled it on his his uh, thobe, on his clothing, and he did not wash it. And this was narrated in Bukhari Muslim. And in the hadith of Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, is that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was given a small child, and then the child urinated on his garment. He asked for water, and he, um, you know, he, he washed it off, but he didn't fully wash it, he used, you know, made, he sprinkled w water on it. In this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, these two ahadith, they show us uh, several benefits, but before we get into these uh, benefits, we just want to have an idea, uh, a little bit about the ikhtilaf with the ulama and this mas'ala. The ulama, the scholars of Islam, they differ with regards to a couple of issues. One of the issues here, is that some of the ulama, they believe that the male child that, that does not drink milk, I mean does not eat fo solid foods yet, that only drinks their mother's milk, the male and the female are the same. So there's a group from amongst the scholars that they believe that both of them are the same and that they should... Uh, that, that when they, if they urinate on your garment, then it should be sprinkled. And another group says, rather, that they are the same with regards to the obligation to wash the child. Meaning to, I mean, I'm sorry, the, to wash the garment. That you, if uh, any child urinates on your, your garment, a, a child, even if it uh, only drinks milk, that you must wash that garment, wash it totally with water and get it all out. 
Whereas the other group, they hold the view that rather both of them you can sprinkle water on. Sheikh Ali Bassam Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says both of those both of those groups of ulama there, they do not have dalil for what they're saying. So their qawl is not correct inshallah ta'ala. Because it does not go to back to evidence. But rather the evidence points to, as we gain from this hadith, and both those hadith, and Shaykh Ali Basam, he, he points this out, is that the correct opinion, and this is the qawl, this is what the evidence shows us from the ahadith, is that there's a distinguishment, the sharia distinguishes between the 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 male and the female child when they are uh, when they are uh, breastfeeding only they're only taking a breast milk or or milk that the male child that it's sufficient to just sprinkle uh, water to cleanse cleanse the urine whereas a female child you must wash it and he said that this is the madhab madhab of Imam Shafi'i. Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Imam Ahmed, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, wa Ishaq, wa Awza'i, wa Ibn Hazm, wa Ibn Taymiyyah, wa Ibn Al-Qayyim, and Imam Sa'di, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, ala Jami' also had this uh, view as well. And many of the muhakkakin, those scholars that maybe looked these issues in, into depth uh, later, from the later generations. So, the correct view is that there is a distinguishment, or that we distinguish between the two, and the, the, the child, the, the male child that drinks milk, only breast milk, not any solid foods, then is permissible if it urinates on your, if the child urinates on your clothing, to just use water. It's permissible to just use water. And the point is to clean the najasa. What we gain from this hadith is that it is najasa, it is impurities, uh, the urine of a child regardless. But they have different levels of najasa, different levels of impurity. Another benefit we gain from this hadith that is sufficient to just sprinkle uh, upon that urine of the male child that only breastfeeds and that is necessary for the female to uh, to wash it, to wash the urine completely. Another benefit we gain from this hadith is it shows us the manners of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he was very generous, very gentle, very humble, and so forth because he, he held the child, he didn't scream, he didn't say, take it, give this to your mother, he didn't know, he asked for water. He cleansed it, and he was very affectionate and righteous and kind to the ch children and to everyone. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And may Allah bless us with those manners. And there's many other benefits we can gain from this hadith. The next hadith, I think, we'll leave it for another sitting because it is in depth, and we don't want to skip through it and be in a hurry. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wasallam.